Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. How many of the dwarves' names can you recall? The number seven is often called the magical number. That's because it has associations with everything from religion to hitting the slots in Vegas. In nature, there are seven continents, there are the seven seas, there are the seven colors in a rainbow. And then, of course, in culture, you have the seven sins, the seven virtues, the seven wonders of the world, and the seven days of the week. It's kind of like our invisible system that we humans use to rein in all the chaos in the universe and instill order. But why seven? Why not eight or six? Well, it's entirely plausible that our brains really prefer the number seven, and that's why we order our worlds with it. Over and over again, studies have shown that on average, the longest sequence that most people can recall on the fly contains seven items. But why would our memory have such a short self-imposed limit? It turns out that this is how the house of memory is built. On one side, you have long-term memories, and the long-term memories are a lot like going to a library and seeing all of your memories like books on a shelf. You can take them down, whenever you need them. And on the other side, you have your short-term memory, which is more like a whiteboard where you just kind of jot down messages to keep up with conversations or to figure out driving directions. According to neuroscientist Mikhail Rabinovich, when a person speaks a sentence, a cluster of excited neurons fire for every single word that's spoken. And it turns out that these excited clusters create a pathway from one point to another and at the same time, they also tamp down any competing neurons. So the key here is that the longer the sentence or the sequence of numbers that you're trying to recall, the harder that those excited neurons, that cluster of neurons, have to work to try to suppress the other neurons from firing and then the weaker the pathway and the weaker your memory. So what all of this is pointing to is that it takes a lot of effort to recall and to concentrate on things. I mean, after all, our brains are taking in data all the time and really it takes a lot to figure out how to get the right thing to rise to the top of your brain. If you're trying to recall a list of seven items, well, that requires 15 times the suppression effort needed for something like, say, just a three item list. And if you have 10 items, well, you have to have inhibitory power hours 50 times stronger than that. And 20 or more items, well, okay, now you need a suppression effort that is hundreds of times stronger still. All right, if that doesn't give you pause, consider this. There is a 2008 study about neurons in the hippocampus, the memory input part of the brain. And the neurons that were the most successful, that had the best information, were the ones with dendrites that had seven branches. All right, what is all this gobbledygook saying? It is saying that this number, the number seven, is preferred by the brain. And because our brain likes the number seven, we are coloring our entire perception of life with it. Our world is the number seven. It is a world of Snow White and the seven dwarves, not the eight dwarves. Okay, a memory pop quiz. Stop whatever you're doing and really concentrate, all right? Cat, orange, rocket, TV, roof, coffee, photo, sun, chair, Elbow, that's 10 items. How many could you recall? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos.